Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pork chow mein. And this is your lovely pork chow mein. I hope you if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and share it on social media with your friends. And I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of the video and how you get on with making yours. If you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel. It's free of charge and lets you see lots more lovely videos. Okay, before you start preparing any vegetables, make sure that you do put your tea towel underneath your chopping board and that stops it slipping around. And you're just going to start by chopping up two cloves of garlic. And you put that into your bowl. Then into your bowl, add two tablespoons of dark soy sauce and four tablespoons of light soy sauce. If you can't get the light in the dark, just put um, the soy sauce in, whichever it is you get. It's fine. And two tablespoons of sesame seed oil, some salt, some black pepper, some ground ginger, about a teaspoon roughly. Same with the paprika, about a teaspoon. It's optional, but you can put some sesame seeds. About a teaspoon of sesame seeds. Just give it a stir. And then what you want to do is prepare your vegetables and soak your vegetables in here. You're going to dice some onion. And if you want to see how to do this, I'll put the link below. So put your onions in to the bowl and give it a mix around. Now again, this is optional. You can put whatever veg you like in, but I'm going to do these particular vegetables that I'm showing you today. And with the leek, if you do very thinly slice, but kind of cut across diagonally, you get these nice little bits to put in the chow mein. It's up to you if you want to peel the carrot or not. Quite often I just leave the skins on, but today I'll just peel it. So we'll just chop the ends off. Now if we cut the carrot in half lengthways, if your carrot is quite thick like mine, cut it again lengthways like this. And then you just cut diagonally, very thin sliced, making sure to keep your fingers like this. Don't be doing this because you could chop your finger or your nail make sure it's bent like this and so there's no way you can physically hurt yourself and it gives you more control on being able to do the thin slices so you're just moving your fingers each time and your knife is going next to your fingers and so you end up with these nice thin slices so add your carrot to your bowl and just give it a, a mix around. And then you're going to cut some broccoli and you just want to cut it into nice small pieces, kind of thin slices, and then even just chop it again like this. So you've got lots of nice small pieces. When we do cauliflower, just chop off a big chunk of the end and this will allow you to get most of the big bits off. And then you're just left with the cauliflower. So again, just cut this into small pieces. All right, and add your cauliflower to the mix. This is a lovely dish to prepare if you're having guests over. Or even if you're a busy person that goes out to work, you can prepare this in the morning. And when you come home from work in the evening, it's just there ready to cook on the wok. You can cook the raw pork and, uh, in the wok, but what I've done um, is I cook pork in a slow cooker and then I freeze it into individual portions and just label it in, and that's what you have. The slow cooker is nice and tender and it's perfect for something like the chow mein because it just breaks apart and it's easy if you're, like I said, if you're a working person, you haven't got time at the weekend, you can 
cook a pile of meat in the slow cooker, freeze it, and then during the week, you just take it out. I've let this defrost for about an hour, and you just break it up into small pieces, and it's lovely to put in your pork chow mein. So you literally put it in with all the vegetables, let that marinate for at least an hour. As I said, if you're going out to work all day, just leave it in your fridge all day. And then when you come home, you just cook it in the wok. It's so simple. Now what you want to do is put some olive oil into a wok or a large frying pan. You can use coconut oil, but if you're watching your cholesterol, olive oil is a healthier option. Okay, so just add all this to some hot oil. You could add mushrooms, you could add red peppers, you can add all different vegetables and I'd love to hear in the comments what you'd like to add in yours. If you wanted a little bit of a kick to it, you could add some chilli, you can add some Chinese five spices. And of course I always use two wooden spoons, it's easier to, to give it a mix and toss it around. And you let this cook for about 10 minutes until your vegetables are done to the way you like them. You could add bean sprouts. I, I usually do add bean sprouts, but they just didn't have any in the shops this week. Now this is optional, but I sometimes put in a small spoonful of tahini. And you can see where this meat is all nice and tender. It kind of just breaks apart and just goes through the whole dish. And so you get that lovely pork flavor all around. Now with the noodles, there's all different noodles you can add to this. You can get the ones that you just cook for three minutes and you would add it. Or you can get the ones, the white noodles that you can just put in water for two or three minutes and then add it to the wok. Or today, um, I haven't tried these before but I'm going to give them a go today, is straight to wok amoy noodles. So you literally take it out the packet and add it to your stir fry. If you find it's getting a little bit dry, just add a little bit of olive oil to it. And now we're just going to dish it onto the plate and serve. And this is your lovely pork chow mein. I hope you enjoy it.